Hi again. Okay, so this time we're getting to the reduction formulas and before we get there, let me just uh, briefly explain to you about triangles in the Cartesian plane. Okay, so I want to show you a triangle in the Cartesian plane. Let me show you this triangle. This is the basic triangle in the first quadrant and that is theta. Now whenever we make a triangle in, in another quadrant, let's say we have a triangle there and let's say this is the point x comma y and that is the point also x comma y but with one difference the x's values are the same so this x and that x has the same value or absolute value but they are different in their signs this is positive and this one is a negative value okay now what that simply means is that these two triangles are going to look exactly the same they are going to be what we call congruent triangles they have the same height both of them go up to h okay so that length is the same the length from the origin to the point is the same r is the same because it's x squared plus y squared x squared plus y squared and because it's a negative it will be positive when it's squared so the square root of x squared plus y squared gives me r and uh, therefore they will be the same okay how about the x values well this x value is just positive direction and this x value is in a negative direction but they will still be the same so we've got here a triangle that have all three sides the same so these triangles um, are exactly the same and therefore the angles will also be the same okay so now if I were to look at let's say tan I were to look at the opposite over the adjacent so tan of that and let, let's do this in different colors so that so that you can see so if I were to say I'm taking tan of theta for that first triangle so I'm working in the purple triangle okay then we would get this opposite over that adjacent okay so we'll get opposite over adjacent and we'll get an answer okay for the other triangle let's make that one in green if I take tan of that triangle tan of theta this time I also get my opposite is the same and my adjacent is the same opposite over adjacent so I see I get the same answer because they're exactly the same triangles but the one problem is is that this triangle the green one is not or does not have the angle theta this is not really our observed angle our observed angle is that angle right there okay and this is where the problem comes in because even though the opposite and the adjacent has the same length than in the purple triangle we are not working with length we are working with coordinates and the coordinates this time is the x coordinate will be negative in other words a for the green triangle will be a negative value so though we will get the same value in terms of uh, size tan of theta for this one will give me an answer and tan of theta for this one will give me the same answer but this one will have a negative sign compared to that one okay so what do I mean okay let's take for example uh, tan of 45 degrees tan of 45 degrees is now there's 45 degrees tan of 45 we know is that square root 2 over 2 if we do our special angles I'm not going to go into that just take my word for it if you don't if you don't remember okay is equal to 1 however if we go to a, uh, an angle in the second quadrant and theta is 45 degrees this is 45 degrees then my observed angle is actually hundred and thirty five so tan of a hundred and thirty five okay this time is equal to square root 2 as a negative for x square root 2 and that will give me negative square root 2 over square root 2 that will give me a negative 1 so notice what we have here we have that tan of 135 is equal to tan of 45 but with a different sign so we multiply with a negative in front so to take it a bit further if I had tan of 180 degrees minus 45 I will get the same answer as tan of 45 I must just multiply with a negative okay and this would be true for all angles 
okay for any theta that is uh, actually for any theta okay this will be true but we're specifically looking at acute angles so if I have any 180 degrees minus theta whatever theta is it can be 10 it can be 2 it can be it can actually be a billion it really doesn't matter for any angle theta if I have 180 degrees minus that theta I can simplify it to just simply negative tan theta why because we're going to assume that theta is an acute angle which means that tan of an acute angle is a first quadrant angle and in the first quadrant tan is positive but 180 minus that acute angle so there's 180 degrees minus an acute angle means I've, I'm, I'm not yet reaching 90 degrees again so I'm in the second quadrant and tan of second quadrant angles will be negative that will be positive and this will be negative so we have to multiply with the negative to get the positive answer but the triangle that I'm talking about looks exactly the same okay and that is why I can do this conversion okay so let's look at all of of the values in the cast diagram so remember the cast diagram we said that this is where cos all sine and tan this means cos is positive in the fourth quadrant all the others are negative all of them are positive in the first quadrant sine is positive in the second quadrant the rest negative tan negative uh, sorry tan positive in the four, uh, third quadrant the rest of them are all negative okay that means that here we know a first quadrant angle is just theta is positive so sine of theta is equal to sine of theta okay then we have cos of theta here then we have tan of theta here okay in the second quadrant our angles represented by 180 degrees minus okay why minus well when we go in the opposite uh, in in uh, anti-clockwise directions our angles are positive when we go in a clockwise direction our angles are negative so if I go to 180 degrees in order to stay in the second quadrant I need to minus so that's 180 degrees minus for the third quadrant I'm continuing in the clockwise anti-clockwise direction and therefore I have 180 degrees plus and we're talking about theta theta in the fourth quadrant if I go in the clockwise direction it's positive but this is 360 degrees in order to stay in the fourth quadrant I need to go back a little bit and that means it's minus theta in the opposite direction so 360 degrees minus theta now with that we can go summarize that sine is positive in this quadrant so sine of 180 degrees minus theta will give me a positive answer and so does sine of theta so these two will be the same okay an example can be sine of 150 degrees is the same as sine of 30 degrees sine of 150 degrees is 180 minus 30 180 minus 30 is equal to sine of 30 okay and sine of 30 we know is a half okay cos cos of 180 degrees minus theta we know cos is negative in this quadrant so we can use cos of theta but cos of theta is talking about a first quadrant angle so and that's fine but second quadrant angles are negative so we must multiply with a negative okay an example of that let's say we have cos of what shall we say 135 degrees that means it's the same as negative cos of 45 degrees why do I say that because 135 can be 180 minus 45 180 minus 45 as you see there okay which means it's equal to negative cos of 45 cos of 45 we know is square root of 2 over 2 okay tan of 45 uh, or sorry tan of 180 
degrees minus theta. Same thing. Okay, it is equal to tan of theta, but in the second quadrant, tan is negative, and tan of theta refers to a first quadrant angle, so where it's positive. So we multiply with a negative one in order to make it negative. Uh, what example will we look at? Let's look at tan of uh, 100 and uh, what shall we say 20 degrees okay now 120 degrees is 180 minus 60 so notice how I try to write the 120 in terms of 180 plus 180 minus or 360 minus okay now that means that 180 minus is second quadrant where tan is negative so I need a negative tan and now I can remove the 180 minus in other words tan of 60 degrees so that from our special angles we know is negative the square root of 3 over 2 there we go how about the next quadrant so in the next quadrant we know that only tan is positive that means if we have sine and let's change the color if we have sine of 180 degrees plus theta okay we can use just sine of theta but sine of theta is positive sine of 180 plus theta that however would be negative so we multiply with a negative cos cos of 180 degrees plus theta same thing only tan gives positive outputs in this quadrant so cos will give a negative output but cos of theta will be positive so we multiply with a negative to get the positive output finally tan is therefore the one that when we have 180 degrees plus theta we get tan of theta we don't need to multiply with a negative one because any angle in the fourth quadrant sorry third quadrant tan will be y over x so tan is y over x and since y give negative values and x gives ve negative values y over x will be positive okay so just let's just do one example let's take tan of 224 degrees okay so we have to write it we see 224 is in the fourth quadrant it's bigger than 180 and smaller than 270 Okay, so we can write it as tan of 180 degrees plus something, not 224, 225. Okay, it's plus 45 degrees. So there's our 180 plus theta. So we can just change it to tan of theta without needing to change uh, what comes in front. And tan of 45 degrees, well I know this off by heart already, is equal to positive 1. Okay, last quadrant the fourth quadrant angles in the fourth quadrant are represented by 360 minus theta so if I have sine of 360 degrees minus theta okay sine is y over r and y is negative so this would be negative sine of theta okay cos however is x over r and in the fourth quadrant the x part of the coordinate is still positive we're on the positive side of the x axis so this will be cos of 360 degrees okay and then also tan is y over x y is negative x is positive so this would be negative tan of sorry not 360 that should be theta, negative tan of theta. So let's choose one, uh, an angle in this quadrant, something like 300 degrees. 300 degrees, that's an angle in the fourth quadrant. So if they ask me, well, let's go for sine. Sine of 300 deg degrees is, now I must write this, because it's in the fourth quadrant, as 360 minus something. This is sine of 360 degrees minus 60 degrees and since this is in the fourth quadrant sine is negative so we must multiply sine of 60 degrees with a negative to get that answer sine of 60 degrees is opposite which is square root of square root of 3 over 2 okay now that I see that I realize oh I made a mistake here tan of 60 opposite over 
uh, adjacent. This is not two. That should be one. Okay, so uh, I'm sorry about that mistake. Hopefully you picked it up and uh, know that I make a lot of mistakes myself. But um, yeah, I've, um, I think that's about it that I'm going to um, give to you here. In the next video, we'll look at a bit more just just a strategic way how to approach these problems and a few examples. See you there.